It's time now for Truth or Fake. Catalina Marshall Debra is awaiting by the uh, big board and uh, will be reviewing Russia's allegations uh, on uh, certain social media that Ukraine is fabricating a dirty bomb. Um, this, of course, has been dismissed as complete hogwash by NATO. Um, Catalina, what did you find? We've been hearing these dirty bomb allegations made by Russia this week. Uh, there's no indication to date that Ukraine is preparing such a weapon as Ukraine and its allies dismiss these accusations as a pretext for ex escalation. Uh, these allegations were initially made uh, by Russia's Ministry of Defense on October 24th on their Telegram channel, uh, where they explained that a dirty bomb combines uh, conventional explosives and radioactive elements uh, accompanied by this explanatory slide right here and the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs also supported these allegations on a Twitter on October 24th as well uh, where Russia claims that according to the information at hand uh, two organizations of Ukraine have been directly ordered to create the so-called dirty bomb accompanied by these explanatory slides uh, that seem to implicitly uh, support their claims mark it seems that many of the sites used in the slides weren't even in Ukraine. Catalina, can you tell us more about that? We've analyzed the three slides that they posted together with these claims that Ukraine is fabricating a, a dirty bomb. Uh, and we can confirm that many or most of these slides are completely unrelated uh, to these accusations. And some were even taken in Russia, not even in Ukraine. So we're going to show some examples uh, because there's many. Uh, but let's start with this first slide right here uh, that would explain the radiation facilities of Ukraine and what interests us is this third image right here where they claim that this scientific research institute is uh, located in a uh, Kiev. Uh, this is a false uh, claim. Uh, this image actually shows a, a Russian research institute uh, located in St. Petersburg uh, according to this uh, TASS agency article from February 8th, 2021 uh, uh, where we can indeed uh, verify that both photos are the same and that the location of this photo was taken in uh, St. Petersburg we could see the location right uh, there. So not a Ukrainian institute, but a Russian one. Uh, then this picture right here on uh, this uh, second slide that we're going to verify, uh, this picture to the far left, where they explain the development of a dirty bomb and Ukraine's capacities to create this uh, bomb. Uh, this picture right here is actually a photo from a Slovenian radioactive, uh, radioactive waste agency photo uh, from 2010. Uh, as the government of Slovenia went to Twitter, uh, pointed out on October 25th, where they debunked these claims uh, made by Russia, claiming that this photo used by the Russian Foreign Ministry in its Twitter post is a radioactive waste agency photo from 2010. And here we can indeed verify the same photo was used in this Slovenian report from 2010 and in the photo used uh, in these uh, slides and these allegations by Russia. So a photo from Slovenia not uh, Ukraine. Mark? Lies and manipulation exposed then. That's the, uh, the Kremlin also incorporating images used by Russian propaganda during the war in Syria. It goes even further. Indeed, we have one final slide that we're going to show right here, and we're going to show this picture to the far uh, right, uh, to the far right here of the slide of the critical consequences of these provocations, where we can see this uh, film production right here. Uh, this image has already been used by Russian propaganda back in 2018 during the war in Syria. As Elliot Higgins uh, points out, uh, this was a production film images that Russia used to claim that members of the White Helmets staged or faked uh, rescue operations. So the same tactics that they're using during the war in Ukraine today that we've debunked many times before. Uh, so we can at least confirm uh, that uh, the images used in uh, these posts right here in no way uh, support these allegations made by Russia and are hence uh, misleading. Uh, however, more information to come on these dirty bombs as the UN uh, nuclear watchdog is preparing to send inspectors to two Ukraine Ukrainian sites in the upcoming days. Mark? We, we await uh, their findings uh, as uh, they come out. And of course, we'll bring it to you as we get it. So lies and manipulation exposed in truth or fake. Catalina, thank you very much indeed. For more news, stay with us.